Okay, welcome everyone. With the endurance races coming up very quickly, we thought it'd be a great opportunity to get the four endurance drivers together. Obviously, Dave Reynolds and Matt Payne, the two regular drivers, and Kevin Estrat joins the team along with myself. And this is probably a really good opportunity for the people that follow our team and follow our sport to get to know Kevin a little bit along with us as well, because he's still in Austria at the moment. He's not far away from jetting down and joining us for the Sandown 500. So we'll start with you, Kev. What did you know about supercars before you signed up to this deal? <laughs> well, I'm not, I've never, I've never driven and never, never saw any race live. But, um, but I, I remember really watching the the races with my my grandpa uh, back in the days and on TV. Um, and then I was uh, I was teammate with Shane uh, in Europe in 2014, I guess, or 15 in uh, with McLaren. Uh, and there for sure I started to get more into it because uh, because he was yeah he was there and explaining the races and all that stuff but it's quite tough to to follow uh, the races in Europe due to jet lag and 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 all that but um yeah I I really love that that uh, that type of racing for sure and and if I even if I don't watch the race uh, the, the all the races live I definitely watch all the the highlights on on YouTube that's for sure have you spoken to many um, people that you know that have driven the cars in your world? Like your, you do predominantly GT and prototype racing, but a few of those guys over there have driven our cars in the past. Have you spoken to them? And have you got a bit of an idea of what yeah. you get yourself into when you drive the car for the first time? Uh, no, but I for sure I, I've, I've spoken to uh, to Earl Bamber, to to Matt Campbell, which are let's say the closest uh, guys which i know which has quite a lot of experience uh on these cars um and mark lieb actually which has driven but i i, I would say for 10 years or something like this um so yeah I'm, I'm really looking forward to the challenge but it's um yeah from what i've heard and what i see on on um, on the onboard and everything it's it's definitely gonna be a challenge matt you're sharing the car with kevin your first year as primary driver, lead driver, if you like. Um, mm -hmm. But obviously, Kevin has a huge amount of experience in, in long distance racing and endurance racing. What are you looking forward to the most about teaming up? I think it's going to be like, I'm really excited just even for the for the testing, you know, just to get Kevin in and, and see what he thinks of it. Yeah, I think it's going to be great also to have his experience and just get a keen eye of sort of what he thinks and, yeah, see what um, maybe there's something we can improve and, and sort of combine all of our expertise per se to, um, yeah, get some good results. Reynolds, we're teaming up for the first time. We've been in the same team a lot in the past. Um yeah. But not actually we've crashed into each other a few times. <laughs> we've crashed into each other a lot. Um, but we've never actually shared the same car. So um looking forward to that. Yeah, of course I am. Um you've won it what five times? Yeah. Yeah, I've won it once. So you're, you're, not, you're, not, gonna, you're, you're not gonna you're not gonna if we win, you're not catching me this year. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> away. But uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. You're um Obviously, very skilled, very good at that place. You know, back like the back of your hand. Um, very good at the car setup. So, you know, I'm looking forward for you, for you to set the car up and to me to win the race. That's, that's not the deal. That's not, that wasn't the deal at all. You set the, car up. <laughs> the other way around. I just jump in while you're having lunch, do a few laps, and no, I mean, you're doing the afternoon stint. Oh, right. Okay. Oh, right okay. Uh, have you guys got any questions? Well, it's gonna be fun, man. You're, a, you know, you're very, very experienced, very good racer, and you know, you tick all the boxes. So, actually, can't wait to share the car with you. That was very kind. I bet you're not saying that after the first stint. <laughs> now I can move the pedal box forward and back. So now <laughs> well, that's actually a funny thing. A lot of people have seen the photos of you and I standing next to each other and going, "Oh, that's not going to work." One of you is going to be really uncomfortable. But one <laughs> of the great things about the Gen Three car is. Um, we can move the pedals. So we're actually using my seat in yeah, And when? when was that seat made? That that seat was made in 2008. So it's probably <laughs> my seat insert's probably older than Matt Payne. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, close. But a good thing is that you still fit in. I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
I've been I've been shaving foam out of it every year. It's just getting slowly bigger and wider and wider and wider. So we're using my seat insert, your steering wheel position, and we just move the pedals. So it's it's works well, easy. It's a good compromise, isn't it? Yeah, it works well. What are you looking forward to the most, Garth? What am I looking forward to the most? Um, I really enjoy the endurance race aspect of our sport. Our our championships really unique in that we have sprint race weekends, you know, like the the 250k race weekends on predominantly on street circuits. And then we do obviously the two races coming up, Sandown and Bathurst. So such a diverse uh, type of events that we have through the year. And um, these two where the team aspect really comes into it. So obviously there's the four of us driving the race car and, and there's that aspect of it too. But then, you know, pit stop strategy, even preparation, like you talk about Bathurst. Bathurst, the race week starts the Sunday before. It's such a long week. So I really enjoy the the total team aspect of these events and um, and just how you have to overcome adversity. There's like Bathurst week, something will go wrong. You know, at some stage of the week, something will go wrong. And how well the team recovers from that, I really enjoy being part of that aspect of it as well. Hey, Kevin, um, was the Sandown 500 coming back as a as a warm up race effectively for you before Bathurst? Was that an important aspect for you taking on this deal rather than just turning up and doing the Bathurst 1000 as a standalone race? Yeah, for sure it helps. Well, to be honest, I think uh, I would have taken the deal even just for Bathurst because <laughs> because I really wanted to to drive uh, in in the supercars, but. Uh, but definitely the fact that we have sundowns before, which which is a for sure a race from the championship and and and, and an important race for you for you guys and and for the whole thing. But uh, it's definitely gonna help me to uh, to uh, yeah, uh, hopefully be uh, be a bit better in in Bathurst and and know what I what I should look look out for um, and uh, and be yeah. I, I've seen some on board in batter in in sundown, and you're definitely a little bit more far from the wall than than what you are in Bathurst, uh, which is good to to start in a in a race car. So um, yeah, no, it's definitely a, for me a very very good yeah situation to to be in to to have a race to let's say sort of uh, learn a little bit before before the biggest one. Um, you've been to Bathurst before, though, haven't you? You've done the, the Bathurst. Yeah, yeah. How yeah. many times have you been there now? Three times. Three times. And, I mean, we, we've we all done, well, Reynolds and I have done the 12-hour. You haven't done the 12-hour yet at Bathurst, have you, Matt? No. Yeah. always uh, are amazed at when you factory GT drivers come to Bathurst and you're on it straight away. Like, you, you get on it straight away. You have this ability. You know the cars very well, but you learn the track very quickly was that something you found when you came to Bathurst for the first time yourself I have to say it's it was definitely one of the hardest track to to learn for me on on it's it's one of the hardest track to learn but also one of the nicest I've been to uh for me I really I have the the top three tracks in the world for me are uh Nordschleife Bathurst and Macau and and Bathurst was definitely one of the hardest to to get close to the limit you know knowing where you're going uh and and uh when you you know looking at the sky and thinking for the first time okay where am i going right left what well, you know even if you've done some laps on the on the on simulator on looking on onboard videos or or stuff first time you drive there is is very special but the fact to know the car very well definitely helps dave um you have a huge amount of experience at Bathurst but the first time we take a gen 3 car to Bathurst so a lot less downforce um a lot different characteristic of race car running on a softer compound tire too for the first time at Bathurst so what are your expectations ahead of Bathurst I know we're jumping forward a race but everyone wants to really talk about Bathurst I guess so what are your expectations there what are my expectations? I think the car, obviously, the deg has been a lot worse this year. So, you know, it's probably going to remind me back when the before they resurfaced the track in 2013 was the last time it sort of got resurfaced. So it's going to go back to like, you know, really looking after the car. Not It's not going to be just a flat out like qualifying race for 
seven hours or something. It's going to be actually about, you know, looking after the car, looking after the rear tyre, open to changing a lot of how I think normally about that track. So, but, um, yeah, it's going to be fun. Either way, it's going to be fun. Doing it with you guys is going to be enjoyable. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, uh, Matt Payne battle out there, it's going to be even more fun. <laughs> well, I want to ask Matt, I mean, you don't have the same level of experience uh, and a muscle memory, if you like, and that's something that really Probably a good thing. Yeah, well, I was going to say, do you feel like maybe you're not at a disadvantage, but you're probably a bit more line ball or a bit more par with everyone else, not having that muscle memory. So not expecting the car to behave in a certain way, given it's all new when we go to Bathurst. To be fair, like I don't think that's probably going to give me any more an advantage. I think like you guys would probably know that um, you've done enough laps around there that you, you can just kind of get in and, and drive anything around there. So um for me, it's it's still my – I've done it two years now. I only did the main race last year, so I'm still pretty green to the whole track. So um, I think I'm just going to be out there battling a bit and <laughs> learning learning as, as we all are. So, yeah. You'll be fine, Matthew. Uh, we've got the Penrite Oil Sandown 500 before we get the Bathurst first, though, and that race has been predominantly – well, that circuit is very low grip, very, very low grip, high tyre degradation, uh, and we've seen more tyre degradation this year than we have in the past. So the expectation is that the tyre is going to wear out at Sandown. So bigger fuel tank, different fuel strategies. Will we see a different type of race? I guess this is more for you, Dave and Matt. Will we see a different type of 500 yeah, characters to what we've seen in the past? Yeah, I think it's going to be very different. You know, the the fuel burns a lot less these days, um, so you know you get you're going to stretch out your fuel windows, but then the tires won't last that long. So, you know, it's going to come back to a tire race, um, and when you sort of set your race up to be fastest at the end, because you know it's going to it's it's such a high deg track, it's so hard to keep the tire under or the rear tire under itself under yourself to to produce the lap time. So, it's going to be. It's going to be about managing that rear tire and whoever does that the best or whatever car does that the best um, is going to win the race. You've got good memories of that place, don't you, Garth? That was one of the most epic races, I think, wasn't it? Because, like, you had some, you had damage at the start of the race and then somehow you pushed on and and still won the race with the car, like, breathing down your neck for the last 30 laps or something, wasn't it? Yeah, no, we, we were pretty good. Um, and then the front guard broke. I was, we were leading the last oh, stint. Oh, that's Deep right. Break. Leading yeah. easily, and Shane was second in the Red Bull car, and yeah. um, and then the front guard broke and and folded back and was hanging back, and then all the aero went. It had a heap of drag, yeah. and um, yeah, it was terrible. So he caught me with about five to go. So luckily, the my car with the guard hanging off it was extra wide, so he didn't get past. But um, yeah, that was that was a while ago. That was twenty sixteen, a long time ago. So not too long ago. The last Sandow 500, we were leading. I was sharing the car with Shane and we started on the back row because he crashed in the warm-up race that we used to have. Started on the back row. We were leading by the halfway through the race and pulling away and with six laps to go, a bolt broke in the rear suspension and it failed. So, wow. so that was my last memory of the Sandow. 19? 19, 2019. 2019. That was the last Sandow 500. So let's hope that we can... Uh, have a more successful weekend. We can get Reynolds on the podium. We can get Kevin having a very strong debut in supercars with Matt, who's leading the Rookies Championship at the moment, the unofficial Rookies Championship. So we'll keep that yeah. role for him. Rookie Championship. Rookie Championship. Rookie of the Year. He's already won yeah. that. He won that last year, didn't he? What? That, was, that was a different award. That was a Mike Cable. Award. Oh. It's midnight at home where Kevin is currently in Austria, so let's not hold him up anymore. Uh, looking forward to joining up with you guys, having a bit of fun. We've got a test day coming up, and then we go to Sandown for the 500, and then Bathurst not too long after that. It'll be a lot of fun, and uh, looking forward to getting cracking. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thank you.